Uh, Francois, you talked about how Indian history has been written and rewritten. Uh, and if that is the case, and if that's been happening for generations, how do you think uh, that we as a civilization understand our roots and our culture? Because that way, I mean, we have so many various um, uh, sources of history and so many uh, varieties and diversification. So how do we really understand our civilizational roots? No, the problem is that most Indians have no clue about the greatness of their civilization, except a tiny minority, because the education that is imparted in India uh, to Indian kids, both in, you know, in the level of schools and universities, is Western education. I mean, the, when, when uh, the British left, uh, the first prime minister of India, for good and bad reasons, just took over everything from the British, including the education system. So today, no doubt, you know, Indian students are brilliant, but they're just good for export because uh, they have not any Indianness in their in the education. I mean, if you take Kalidasa, for instance, one of the greatest poets ever in humanity, you know, that many Westerners are put on par with Homer, you know, or with uh, Shakespeare. He's not taught in school. Uh, even Kalidasa translated from the Sanskrit, his poetry and his prose is of such divine quality, but he's not taught in India. Take, you know, pranayama or meditation, which are now in the West, you know, you see that Hollywood stars practice yoga, hatha yoga fluently, but here in India, it is not taught in school. And yet he would make children, give them suppleness and Indianness. Take pranayama, for instance, which again is being accepted in the West. There are scientific studies that show that pranayama cools down the nervous system, makes it for a clear mind. You know? Not taught in India. Uh -uh. Sri Aurobindo, one of the greatest philosophers, contemporary philosophers, you know, his life divine, you know, his synthesis of yoga, have been praised again by Westerners. In my country, France, Sri Aurobindo had been praised by Andre Malraux or you know, so many others. But he's not taught in, uh, not even in philosophy curriculum. So it's a tragedy that uh, Indians know so little about the greatness of the civilization and that most Indian intellectuals look at India through Western eyes. Most of the journalists in India, most of the intelligentsia looks at India with a very critical eye. Uh, they keep, if you read newspapers or look at television in India, you're always shocked because it's a very negative outlook on, on India by Indians. Why is it because there is no Indianness in their culture? So they are looking at India through Western eyes, which is always very critical because the West has a sentiment of superiority of, over India. This is what I wanted to say otherwise is that the fact that India's image abroad is always so negative. Uh, even today, uh, the perception of uh, of Indian history were present, present there, you know, whether it's Article 370, when it was removed by Mr. Modi, there was such a negative coverage abroad because you know, the West has a sentiment that, you know, they are superior to India. So we need Indians who are proud to be Indians. That is the only remedy. But as long as you do not change the education system in India and teach children true Indian history, history as it happened with heroes and heroines. As a Frenchman, I'm taught about Napoleon, who was you know, a great warrior. I'm taught about Jeanne d'Arc, she was, she was a great woman warrior. But in India, there are thousands of great uh, women warriors, you know, from Ali Abai to you know, Rani of Jansi to Rani Kito Chenama to Tarabai, so many, so many of them. You know? so, but Indian children are not taught about them. They're not taught about the greatness of the heroes, heroine poets, writers, so as a result, Indians do not know about their own civilization, and that is a great tragedy. Namaste. We hope you enjoyed this Chitti Media content. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content, and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.